excited to talk to you a little bit about what I've learned through some of these crazy and chaotic times about managing your energy. I have always been really big about managing your time because it makes you effective, it makes you productive, and it helps you, uh, helps you accomplish things. But I've now know that it's just as important that we manage our energy. So we have energy to do the important things in our lives. So with COVID, my life changed a lot. So I used to uh, uh, travel a lot. In fact, I'd speak in about two or three states in a week. And so what that would mean is I would get up at about three o'clock in the morning, I would get on a plane and I would travel all day long, often getting in at seven, eight o'clock and another, another two or three time zones later. And uh, I would get up bright and early the next day. I would give a speech, get on a plane, and do it all over again the next day, several times a week. So what I found is I had a lot of anxiety, and I was experiencing a lot of stress. And now that I am nowhere near as busy, all of a sudden, I have found that I've found a way to manage my energy, and it's just by not being as busy. So as things start to pick up and we start to get busy again, I'm going to remind myself some of these techniques. We can manage energy. This is from the research that I've done. We can manage energy in three basic ways. Um, the ones that work for me is what I'm sharing with you. Is The first one is there's an emotion. We can manage our energy emotionally, we, uh, physically, and also mentally. So I want to start uh, with, with uh, our physical energy. So again, for me, it's traveling around and being busy and different time zones, uh, I would find myself exhausted. Managing physical energy means, uh, first of all, from time to time, take some time out. Like just notice that you're busy and you're overwhelmed and you're getting exhausted, right? Take, take a break. Uh, feel your feet walking across the floor. Don't be thinking, but be feeling how you feel. Take a deep breath. Hold it for a minute, just, well, a couple seconds, not a minute, and then relax and let it go. And you'll notice a difference in the way you feel inside your body as you're decreasing stress. And then also, of course, we know we need to drink a lot more water. We need to take care of ourselves, uh, eat properly, get enough sleep, exercise, increases dopamine, decreases stress hormones. These are all ways for us to physically manage our energy in the long run. Now, secondly, then we have emotional energy. It's a little bit more challenging because emotions, we feel them, but we don't necessarily see them. So they're not as easy to grasp. Uh, through this time, I think we learn the most from our emotions because they tend to kind of be fired up by what's going on around us all the time right now. Uh, just turn on the TV and you might experience a bunch of different mixed emotions. So Emotions, first of all, the easiest way to do it is just to experience more positive emotion. The way you do that is by, uh, well, I love laughter, humor, play. Anything you can do to inject positive feeling and emotion in your life is a really, really good thing. Do more of that. Experience more laughter. Uh, whether it's watching things on YouTube, calling up a friend, connecting with people, you boost endorphins, it's uh, dopamine, it's serotonin, it's, ox it's oxytocin. These are all wonderful things. Uh, they, they are hormones that create uh, more of a positive atmosphere inside you and you're, 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 you're building emotional energy. Okay. Now, when you experience negative emotions, it's important not to repress them and push them down. So I find for most people, especially myself, we've learned to just repress emotion. That it's not okay to feel bad or sad or upset or, um, and repressing it just builds up and it tends to actually uh, explode later on. So better just to experience your emotions. Just don't fight them. Just experience them to not repress them, but notice them. And uh, it will help build more positive emotional energy. And then the third area you get energy is from your, your mental energy. So that is the thoughts that you think and the things that you do. So uh, for me, I, my biggest way to build mental energy is through goal setting. 
Uh, imagine a day where you don't set a goal, you won't accomplish anything and you'll feel exhausted at the end of the day. It will be frustrating for you. So it's like getting up in the morning, getting into a car, driving around and having no destination, having not knowing where you're headed and what you're trying to do. At the end of it all, you end up nowhere and you're exhausted. That's what it's like when you don't have goals. It's mentally exhausting. So if you set goals and you check them off your to-do list, it often does feel good. It gives you a feel of, feeling of certainty and a, a little bit of power. Also remember mentally your thoughts are creating your reality. So if you're doing things positively and creating positive thoughts and working in a positive direction, then that, that helps you move in that way, whereas negative thoughts do the opposite. So protect your energy, build your energy, create vitality in your life with these three different ways. Uh, first of all, it's your physical energy. Secondly, your emotional energy. And then also remember your mental energy and have fun.